Right, so we're on Torment 1 now to try and beat this last boss. Fuck off. Sick of your shit. Needs more time. Need more time. I didn't realize that spider does that much damage. Need more time. Death will release you from pain. Right, come on, let's see if I can do this. I've got no idea how to avoid that fire attack, the one that wanted us last time. The power of death. <sighs> Need more time. Going down, brah. Fuck you, bitch. Me. Fuck me, he nearly killed us. He's actually gonna kill us. Run, 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 bitch. Give me this, give me this, give me this. You are out of time. I'm out of touch. I'm out of time. Got nowhere to fucking run. I must wait longer. Yes! Suckers! Death to us, poor. Fucking suck me, beautiful. How do you like that? Got me minions to do me bidding for us. Get into that singularity, you little bitch. Don't fear the Reaper. I've got an awesome dagger. Hopefully, it's awesome. Plan Reaper's wraps. Let's check this dagger out first. Please be awesome. Or, yeah, let's do it. Um, it's a bit shit, really, yeah. It's got no like additional. Pro oh, I don't care. Where is the black soul stone? Malthael consumed it and took Diablo's soul. Then Malthael's death will have released Diablo. He is free. 
Congratulations, you've killed Malthiel. Do you wish to leave the game and return to the main menu? Eh. Uh, I'd like to see the cutscene, please. The end cutscene would be handy. Where is the Black Souls? Malthiel. The mountain. Aha, here we go. Don't. Oh, there we go. Don't fear the Reaper. Bill and Ted's fucking excellent. Focus journey, sorry. Don't fear the Reaper, dude. Nephilim had done the impossible. By conquering death, he had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. He is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell and a witch doctor who protects the innocent but within him beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption hmm. on that day will he have the strength to resist Dalsim will will he be <laughs> Congratulations, you've defeated Diablo 3. More challenge and rewards await you in adventure mode. Ah, cool. Maybe that's where you get all your epic loot from. Well, that was a roller coaster. Eh, uh, what can I say? Great game, it's an excellent hack and slash game. The loot system's excellent up until you get level 70 on your first playthrough and then you get fuck all. And that entirely entire end game there, I was stuck with the weapon that I found earlier on in the game. The difficulty, now when I first started this game, I started on the hardest difficulty which I believe was expert. It wasn't a challenge. Yeah, at the start of the game, the first I say the first hour or two. There were some challenging moments, but after that, everything was so, so easy and there was no way of increasing the difficulty unless you'd completed Act 4, which I believe is the main game in the original release. But, percent, but since this is the Ultimate Evil Edition, I had that extra chap chapter 5 on the end. So only after you completed the first four chapters were you able to increase the difficulty. Um, once I found out I could do that, I increased the difficulty to... Master Because that's all it would let me change in game But then I found out that you can actually increase it higher when you're at the main menu So I increased it to torment 3 it Was too hard I completed the end act on torment 2 And I had to knock it down to beat the, the grim reaper to torment 1 It was it was far too hard And I, and I completely cheesed the last boss because I didn't even fight him straight up I had my minions do it because I couldn't take a hit. He killed us in like one or two hits. It was crazy. It was cray cray yo. But yeah. Awesome game. Now what's even better about this game? The end credits look like they're going fast as hell. So we shouldn't be here for 45 minutes watching the end credits. Yeah. I think. Like I'm just going. I'm just recording the. This was just a story playthrough really. And this is the first time playing the game for me. I did enjoy it. It's the first Diablo game I've ever played as well. I have played Champions of North and other games of its ilk, but the first Diablo game I've played, enjoyed it, loved it. I maybe will play some of the adventure mode. I don't know if I'll record uh, record it, but I do. Th this is one of those games that I think you can just jump on and just like farm for better loot and increase the difficulties. But since there's other games I want to play, I mean, I do still want to play No Man's Sky. I, I, sorry, I've started it, but I want to play it a bit more and develop, continue to develop my opinion of it because I think I've played the game for 20 odd hours now and I feel like I'm getting nowhere to be fair but I like this game because you're constantly rewarded uh, with levels, skills and I like how you could mix your skills up and change like your gameplay style a little bit 
One thing I did of note is early on in the game I found a legendary item, which I believe were bracers, that let me cast Wall of, Wall of Terror up to three times before the cooldown. And that is an amazing skill. And I ended up, keep, because, of, because I found that such early on, I used that like I think it's like a level 20 item all the way through to level 70 because I didn't want to take it out because I liked the skill effect that it gave also I think it boosts the wall of death damage by like nearly 90 to 100 percent now because I don't know the inner mechanics or workings of the game I don't actually know if it was beneficial for me to equip an item piece that actually increased my overall damage so maybe one pool of death wall of death would like be sufficient but I don't know, that's how I played the game, I enjoyed it, loved it, I loved having little followers. And I, another thing that I really liked was one of the perks for the Witch Doctor was to get these little Raji minions to come up on a chance of kill something, but towards the end game, I took it off, but I was liking it when I was getting my kill streaks up, where you had like your dog, you had your gargantuan, you had all of these little, little Raji big headed Bevo laddies running about like you had a full army and they were just kicking off. It was hilarious. So I'm I am glad I went through it with the witch doctor because I I, I don't know how hard it would be for other classes. I don't know what their single like damage DPS is like, but I think why I found this game possibly a bit too easy was because I had the follow the the minions that take the the blunt of the damage off you and you can like maybe stay at the back of the pack and and cast your spells and attack. While they get up front and they basically tank, tank for you. So I, right, there we're gone. We'll sit back, chill out. I actually haven't got a drink. My mouth's like Gandhi's flip flop. But wait for the credits. And I won't get myself a drink. Oh, what a game! What a game! That last boss, the the Grim Reaper, who we can see in the background there. The the difficulty spike that he had was crazy. Never have I fought a boss that had a difficulty spike like him. Maybe the boss that had the big battering ram. He killed me in one hit, but only the once. And I knew how to avoid it, but this guy was so fast I couldn't get away from him. And he had like a flash, a shadow step, teleport. Didn't know how to dodge it. Aye. Good shit, brah. I think we could be coming towards the end of the credits, yeah. Maybe we are coming towards the end of the credits. It's teasing me. Stop teasing me. Or another thing I think throughout the game my first big kill streak was I believe 130 and that was quite early on near the start of the game when I had a it was like you activated a chest and you had to fight loads of enemies to get like a second chest and then towards the end of the game I th yeah I think it was actually in the act 4 I don't know if it was in act 4 or if it was actually in act 5 but I managed to get a, 
162 kill streak, which I I don't know, I don't even know if that's good or bad, but I thought it was good for me, and I found that quite how I was getting my kill streaks in the game. I was all whenever I got into a battle, I was always going for kill streaks, and I found the fireball that creates like a fire pit and spurts fireballs out is excellent for continuing your kill streaks because you can just randomly throw them off screen hopefully they'll hit stuff which gives you a chance to run over and get into the thick of the battle so i do like that was another aspect of the game like the game would have been good without it but because it lets you know oh you're on this kill streak you're like you're like yeah freedom you just charge into battle head first just kicking off you're already leaving the battle to go on to the next one while your minions are busy kicking off finishing the battle you've already started and you're like leapfrogging jumping in and out like that and it was it was awesome once i once i cottoned on to the whole idea of um kill streaks it did make the game more interesting which is is awesome because everybody loves a fucking cook 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 combo combination these fucking credits are doing a combination on my ass fuck me come on Time out, time out, son. Wrap that shit up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up, yo. User experience. Disaster recovery. What the hell? We've got some fucked up departments in this game. To be fair, it is unbelievable the amount of, of people and man hours that go into creating games these days. It is like... Is it the... The biggest re revenue generating media out, like, it's overtook films by, by a considerable amount. Which I can see why, because gaming is, gaming is my life. Absolutely love it. I've got him! Um, since it's the day after Boxing Day today, for Christmas, my girlfriend got me The Last, Gu the Last Guardian. Yeah, so... There'll be a playthrough of that coming up soon. However, I do only have the, the, the regular PlayStation 4. I don't have the Pro version. And I'm a bit disappointed that I have read that The Last Guardian runs a bit uh, shitty. Runs about 4 frames a second on PlayStation 4 on the normal one. So I am a bit disappointed that they didn't optimise. Even though games like Uncharted, which in my opinion, look a lot better than the last the, the last guardian like graphics wise and yet they run like at a really good frame rate like a a pretty stable frame rate and if if what i've read is true about the last guardian that the frame rate dips i cannot help but feel that they've done it just to promote the playstation 4 pro so people can buy that to be like oh yeah you can see a, a visible difference when I'm not entirely convinced that the normal PlayStation couldn't run The Last Guardian with a stable frame rate. But that's just me. I'm a cynic, yo. Well, I'm not really normally I'm a positive guy, but it's how I feel. So when these credits finish in the next 24 hours, if I haven't starved to death, I will be going and eating a shitload of chocolate. I want to get myself a nice ice cold glass of Pepsi and watch a film what else what else have i done is any good films I've... oh yeah i think i mentioned in one of the previous videos i watched brotherhood 
which is the sequel to Kittlehood and Adulthood. It's a really good film. Watch that shit. Um, today I watched Jane Doe horror film. Watch that, and also I watched the new Blair Witch film, which is surprisingly good. It's, in my opinion, it's a lot more interesting than the first one because in the first one you didn't really see much. Although it's good for the time, I think it um it did start the genre off of being like everything filmed like on a handheld camcorder. It was really good. It was it was revolutionary for the time. And a lot of films out there have done it since. But yeah, I'd recommend those films. Recommend you what you watch them. Hey, I'm not being funny, but I'm seriously tempted to cut this shit off. Come on, Blizzard, you're killing us here. Yeah. Is that it, baby? Come on. Oh, they're starting a new fucking song. That's bad news. I've just realised the background's moving. I thought I was tripping there. The wings on the angel on the uh, Grim Reaper are moving. Are they? Shit, am I tripping? Are they moving? No way. Yeah, they are. They're definitely moving. That was some scary shit there. I thought I was fucking getting possessed or haunted or something. I was having a stroke, I'm not sure. Wait, are they even moving? Definitely. I don't think they are. I think it's a, a, um, an optical illusion. It really does look as if those wings are moving. Fuck, I'm just gonna stop looking at it. I'm fucking scared myself here. Could become dehydrated, yo. Carl Lumbly was the voice actor for the Witch Doctor. I like that boy, Carl Lumbly. He is a good motherfucker. I like him because his voice make me big smile.
I honestly think these have just got a, a random number generator for generating random people's names and they just fucking put them on the screen now. I'm sure they're taking the piss. Or they're doing credits like they do the loot. Randomly generated or what? Come on, there's no way with this many people involved. You're just naming people for naming people's sake. Are you naming the every single person that lives in China now and every single person that lives in England? I honestly believe that these credits, my, my name was in there somewhere. They preeminently put my name in there in case I played the game. Fuck me. I'm, go I'm going on Google. I'm going to, how long are Diablo 3's credits? I've been on here for... 20 minutes so far. The credits took approximately 20 minutes. And to be honest, the only reason that I watch credits is because Marvel has got it ingrained on me that shit happens after the credits. I need to fucking see this shit. And apparently there's nothing after the credits, so if you're watching this to hopefully see what's at the end of the credits and you haven't used your initiative to jump to the end of the fucking video, it's going to be fuck all, eh? Fuck you, Blizzard. Fuck you and the fanny. Way, this has got to be the end. They're giving me the fucking email address now. Are you kidding me? Fucking Google. Fuck off. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I can feel it in my balls. It's looking good. It's looking good. Yes. Oh, there we go. Thank DTS and Dolby Digital. Fucking right. Oh, there we go. Done. Right. So, that was Diablo 3 Rip Up Souls Ultimate Evil Edition. Completed. Absolutely beasted. Hope you've enjoyed the playthrough and in a bit, lads.